Hi, welcome to Take Tips and Take Stuff. My name is Ron, and today we're doing a new Movie Studio 16 Platinum tutorial on text effect, just like you've seen at the very beginning. And this was requested by a viewer. If you find I'm talking too fast or mumbling, see the upper right hand corner, there'll be a link explaining why. So, getting back to the tutorial here. So, it was requested by a viewer. He sent me in an MPEG 4 file with an uh, introduction to um, a war documentary. And it's the exact same introduction they used in the movie, or actually it's the same title, I should say, in the movie 1917. It's a war movie, it's an epic war movie. If you haven't seen the movie, you've got to watch it, it's an awesome movie. So let's recreate that. So first of all, this will work in Vegas Pro as well. So first of all, let's hold the control key down, highlight all of these tracks, press delete. Because if you're using Vegas Pro, you won't see this. You'll see just a clean look like this, and whatever media you drag to the timeline it will it create the uh, appropriate track for you. So let's grab this clip here. It's only a war clip I could find out there. It's just soldiers running. And let's like, create a new video track. Right click, insert text media. I'll just call this 2020. Because the war movie has 19. Uh, 17 on it, so we'll just call this 2020. And let's change it to a thick font. We'll use impact. And scale it up. Do not use font size. Font size will give you jagged edges. Use always scale when you're scaling up for these kind of effects. So, oops. About there. Okay. Make this the full length of the project. Okay, so we'll go to compositing mode. So multiply mask, and make sure your cursor is at the beginning. Go to event pen and crop. Cursor at the beginning, go to the keyframe right there. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom this all the way in to the closest letter or number. So it's going to be a zero. And let's make it start the variable here. Right click, restore. Put it back, something like this. Make sure you don't like that. Let's have it static for a bit before it actually displays the title. So go back to event pan and crop. Just grab this keyframe here, drag it to about the five second mark. Actually, four second mark. Now put it back. Should be four seconds of the video, and then that, the title will display. So it's a different take on the earlier videos I put out, where you have the you have the actual title. And you zoom in, reviewing, revealing the video in behind. Just a different take on it. And it's, it, a number of shows use this technique. It's not just the war movie and this documentary. I've seen other shows that use this technique for creating a title. It's a real cool technique. This will work in Movie Studio or Vegas Pro. So that's all you have to do to create this effect. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.